Hey, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. It's Jade here, and today I'll be sharing 15 tips for the perfect med school interview. So stay tuned. The majority of these tips are things that you should do before the interview to prepare. So I'll be sharing those first. So before your interview, you should have access within your institution to a mock interview. If not within your institution, then maybe some other organization. If not then, then go ahead and just organize mock interviews with your peers. Regardless of if you have to organize your own mock interview or not, my next tip is something you should do anyway. That would be to Google the top ask questions during interviews any interview if you will specifically medical school interviews and you can use those questions in your mock interview additionally what you want to do look up those interview questions prepare a few talking points as to how you would answer that question kind of practice these talking points aloud just to make sure that they sound smoothly just to kind of have a muscle memory of if i start to say this then these words are what should come next however you do not want to actually memorize sentences verbatim because you don't want your interview to feel scripted but you do want to be prepared so while you're at it on google go ahead and just familiarize yourself with a couple of current events in the healthcare um because the chances of you being asked about something that you're passionate about in the field or directly something like I was asked about Obamacare. If you want to be a part of this field, you should have some sort of knowledge in this field. So yeah, do some research. Personal tip of personal preference, we won't even count it, but if you have to travel to get to the school that's interviewing you, do not take a Greyhound bus. Greyhound should be ashamed of yourself. They should be put out of business. That is my personal recommendation to you and my personal review. It was one of the worst experiences of my life. So another pro tip, not only should you act the part, this is a professional encounter, but you should look the part. The dress code is business professional. Stick to it. If you don't know what business professional is or entails, Google it because you need to know. First impressions are lasting. Another thing you're going to want to do to prepare for your interview is to look over any and all of the documents that you have sent to this institution because any of your interviewers are going to have a complete packet of everything that they have received from you right in front of them. That's what they'll be choosing their questions from. So make sure you refresh yourself on the details of your application, namely if you've gotten like any big money grants or scholarships. Also, if you've done any research or any relevant activities, refamiliarize yourself with exactly what your role was and who was over you. Names, okay? Remembering people's names. This guy who I went to undergrad with, he came in for an interview and he completely blanked on the name of the professor that he had done research with. So that's why I'm telling you this. Especially if you're just a bench worker and you really don't even know what the research is about, go familiarize yourself with that research. A very helpful thing to do is to go online and read the school's website, just read their mission statement, really any worded regarding the curriculum and you know their purpose and take notes over like what you vibe with, what sticks out to you, what do you like about that institution. Also, um, pay attention when you take a tour, usually you take a tour before you go and do your interview. Pay attention to things that stand out to you. Take note of these things and formulate a couple of questions that you can ask during your interview. So I know they're your competition, but you should be mingling with the other interviewees professionally. Someone is always watching. If there's a moment that you want to check social media or you want to text something of that nature, fight that response and instead replace it with asking the person next to you something about themselves. Because by no means should any of those people who are watching see you on your phone. Be present. So the day of the interview, when you receive your interviewer's names, go ahead and Google them. Find out what they teach or what they do for the school. Find out what they're passionate about, what research they've done, or their specialty. So find common ground if you can and then work 
<laughs> work a few of those topics into the conversation during the interview. So now we're moving on to during the interview, okay? <sighs> That's exactly what you should do before your interview. You need to take a deep breath. You need to relax. This institution that has chosen you for an interview, they're already interested in you. This interview is just for them to get to know you and allow you the time to make an impression to stand out from other faces in the crowd, so to speak. So relax a little and be yourself. With that said, this is still a professional exchange, so you should conduct yourself as such. Introduce yourself read the room some interviewers are more lax than others so you're gonna need to read their energy and match that some interviewers like to talk a lot if they want to talk all about themselves let them okay let them and listen attentively they're gonna remember feeling good at the end of that conversation at the end of that interview okay people like to talk about themselves sometimes on the contrary if your interviewer is all about you, be sure to fill the time with meaningful words. Another tip, listen to your interviewer. <laughs> if you don't understand the question, ask them to rephrase it. Take a breath, gather your thoughts. Once you have a little bit of a cohesive sentence formulated, then begin to respond. Don't talk too fast or you might stumble over yourself. If you take your time, you can choose your words more carefully and carve out the path in which you want to travel with your answer. And remember, at the end of your interview, when they ask you, do you have any questions? Your answer is always yes. It shows interest. So prepare at least two questions to ask your interviewers. Okay, moving on to after the interview. Be sure to thank your interviewer for their time use their name and shake their hand. So if I was your interviewer, you would say, thank you so much for your time, Ms. Hall. It was nice to meet you. Shake their hand. Have a good day. Shake their hand. Thanks for talking with me. Shake their hand. If you have time after the interview, go ahead and jot down a couple bullet points over the topics that you and your interviewer discussed. If there were any funny moments or things that you really clicked over, make notes of those things because you might have a hard time recalling later when it's time to write your thank you letter so the thank you letter should be written and sent within a week and yes you should write a thank you letter <laughs> this is where that listening that i mentioned or that note taking truly pays off because you'll be able to recall better a few talking points to bring up in your thank you letter so i also mentioned projects or events that they were working on that i couldn't wait to see from them or work on with them and then i thanked them again for their time and sent my thank you letter. Well, all in all, none of the questions that I had prepared for my interview were asked of me. I wasn't asked why I wanted to be a doctor. I wasn't asked why this school. I wasn't asked what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? So one of my interviewers literally talked about herself the entire time, but in hindsight, all the things that she talks about were things that were in my application that she actually related to herself. And then another one of my interviewers just literally told me that she loved my story. So she just wanted to hear more about me. And we had a conversation mostly about my life. In the end, I left that day feeling like, okay, either I'm in or I'm out. <laughs> like, either they love me or this is a like pity interview they wanted to give me something allow me to leave with something this cycle and i could you know reapply next cycle and know how the interview goes those were my literal thoughts so i mean i'm truly blessed to have gotten in on the first round i only got accepted into one school interviewed at one school and got into that one school so God loves me and he loves you too, girl <laughs> or guy. Good luck for this interview season. My next video will be what to wear to the medical school interview. So keep checking back for that one. Thanks for tuning in today and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.